Hi guys, it's Pixels Tech here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a joke API widget. This will be a notification from Siri Shortcuts. So what we're going to do, we need to use Siri Shortcuts and we're going to create a new shortcut. And next we're going to rename it and I'm just going to call this one Tell Me a Joke. Then I'm just going to give a little theme with a laughing face. And now we're ready to start creating our shortcut. So we're going to go over to the search for apps and actions and we're going to type in URL. And we're going to select the top one there. And this is where we'll put our API URL. So we're going to go to our browser and we're going to go to an API website. This one I'm using today is called jsonapi.co. I've used this before in some of my other tutorials. There are hundreds of other APIs you can use. So if you just um, want something different and not a joke, you can find all sorts. You can search by category and there's all sorts of affirmations, uh, Chuck Norris jokes, all sorts of things. But I'm just going to type in search API. I'm going to search, search for joke and I'm going to use this one here. I haven't tested this one yet, so it could be interesting. And then we're going to click try this API. And we will go to the link here. It seems to be the right one. A random joke. Hopefully there's a nice range on this one. So yeah, you can see the API there. So these are the um, answers we want. So we go to our URL and copy that. And then we're going to go back to our series shortcuts and paste it in the URL. I have a URL uh, API tester. Um, I got this from another uh, from Reddit, so you can find this if you need it. And I'm just going to paste my URL into here, uh, press play, and it will bring me up the strings that will get me my answers. So there, we're going to need to remember setup and punchline. So we're going to go back now to our shortcut we're making, and we're going to start creating the um, draw. So we're going to go in here and we're going to type in get content. So we want to get the content for, of our URL. We're going to select this one. And we're then going to type in dictionary. And the dictionary gets, um, it converts a line of code to a specific piece of text. So I'm going to go for dictionary and we need to get um, the dictionary from the URL and then we're going to type in dictionary again and then we're going to get a value from dictionary so in this box here this is where we write our um, API setup so what that means is we're looking for setup that hasn't worked let me just have a quick look Right, so I found the problem. I'm just going to add a set variable. We'll do a lot of that, but a variable is basically a name. So we're going to name a component and we need to link that component to the contents of a URL. So this is how it should look. And then we want to make sure we get our dictionary value from the variable. And there we go. We've got our um, setup of our first joke. So as you can see, uh, this is the string we need to use. So I'm going to use a, another set variable. I'm going to add a name to this dictionary value and call it setup. And then I'm going to add, I like to make sure that everything has a title. So I'm going to add a comment. It's just the best way. It doesn't really interfere with the uh, shortcut. It just kind of breaks it up and you can add your own description or title. It's free text really. So I'm just going to call this setup. And then I'm going to add another comment and call this one punchline. And then I'm just going to repeat what we did before so we can receive the punchline from the API. So we're going to get dictionary uh, from input and that input will nicely link to our URL variable. We're now looking to get the punchline string from the API. So we're going to get a dictionary value 
from the um, new dictionary URL. And I'm going to type in punchline. And it should be noted that this should be all lowercase because that's how it was shown on the API. Now we're going to set that variable as punchline. And now what we should be able to do is um, add a text box and bring those together. So we're going to add a new title. And I'm going to add a text box. And then because we've put variables in, I can now select the setup. I'm going to add two spaces and then put the punchline. So the punchline comes out below the setup like a normal joke format. We'll press play and see if that has worked. There we go. So there's our joke. So that's the text got. So we're a good halfway now. All we need to do is now put this into an image. But first I'm going to set the variable. So this is now called joke. And add a new title. And now let's get started with the image. So we're going to go up to the search bar and we're going to get a text to image. And all of these image shortcuts I'm using today are from an app called Toolbox. There are hundreds of different variations of uh, shortcuts, but really good image creating tools. So we're just going to type in image here and we're going to get create image from text. So we're going to leave this as plain text and in the text box here we're going to set our variable and our variable is the joke and this action will basically just put our text on a white background. So let's have a look. And there we go. Nice and clear, nice and simple. There's a lot we can do with this. So we're going to press the arrow here and there's all sorts of different things we can change. The font size, the text colour the background color and we're going to have a transparent background and we're going to quickly change our font so I'm just going to pick a random one I'm just going to scroll and get a font I don't haven't thought about the font I'm going to use there are plenty of fonts and I believe if you upload a font from other sources these will come up as well so we'll just choose this one I'm sure it'll be good so I just run the API and there we have it nice font there I'm just going to play it a couple of times. Sometimes you do get uh, APIs that get stuck or have um, bad communications. So just want to make sure it works, which it does. So now we need to format. So this is as simple as trying to get the text to sit how we want it to sit. Um, the easiest way to do this is to turn auto size frame off and turn scale fit to text on. Then you see at the top there, we've actually had populated sizes. So now we're going to resize that. I like to make it nice and easy, round numbers, and just go 1,000 by 2,000. Um, it just means the calculations are easy when you're trying to, um, trying to resize stuff. It should have been 2,000 by 1,000. Well, that's an easy fix. So we now have the basics of our widget complete, but unfortunately the text is currently unreadable, so let's change the font size. I'm going to stick this to 30. And there we go. It's really coming along nicely now. So we've now pretty much got our the size we want. I'm going to turn the transparent background on. And I'm actually going to change the text color now to white. Really simple. If you know your hexes, this is just six Fs. And we're now ready with the transparent background and our white text to add a proper widget background so let's add a new variable and a new section and we're going to name this one image joke so now let's add our background i'm going to use a create solid mat um, and we're going to use the sizes that we've already created here just slightly bigger you can use images if you like there's all sorts of different ways you can add a photo from your album everything like that but for this one, I just want a mat that's just slightly bigger, 2,500 by 1,250, just plain background. And we're going to set the variable as background. Now we're going to create our final image um, by bringing this all together and overlaying the text. So we're going to type in overlay and get overlay image. 
Our first image we're going to overlay is the joke image. And then we're going to overlay that over our variable background. And we're going to set this variable as our final image. So I'm just going to add a quick, well, a quick, quick look to see how it turns out. It's always good to check these things. You can delete and add these at any time. We'll run it through and we've now got our white text on a black background. So it's now the finishing touches. So the last thing I want to do is add a um, round some rounded corners, which is used. We use a mask. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to type in uh, mask. And it's just as simple as mask image. I'm going to slide it under the um, variable and I'm going to actually I'll put it under the overlay. Um, we can call that the final image. So we want to keep it a rounded rectangle and I'm going to add 200 to the corners. So that should give us our nice curved corners. And we just need to make sure we change this variable to the mask. So now I want to change the color of the background. So I always use this color palette app called Coolers. It's a very easy way to just generate palettes. You can see there, the, um, scrolling through the, the different palettes, they're randomly generated. I want a nice navy blue. You can use any app you want. You can get hex colors from anywhere, but you have to have a hex code. So I'm just going to pick a nice navy blue here and copy the code. And we're going to go to our create mat um, and we're just going to change that to hex code and paste our new value. You can use any color you like. It's all down to your, your own feel. Looks like we've got an editor coming up, so I'm just going to close that. There's our nice, beautiful widget. We do need to resize that text a little bit, though. So I'm just going to go down here and make sure I turn off the editor from this mask because it keeps coming up again. Show image editor off. And it's a good job we've opened that because I think the best thing for us to do at this stage is to change that text size or that box size. So we're going to stay in overlaid image and we're going to change these sizes back to the original size from the top. So that'll be 2000 by 1000. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. And one more test. And there you go. There's our finished product. So as you can see, it's working quite nicely. And we're going to add this to the home screen. So it's just a case of pressing share. You can change the image if you like, but we're just going to use this one for now. And we're going to go back to our home screen and there it is. So you can just press this button and there's your joke. So I hope this helps. Uh, you can obviously use this for anything you want. So any APIs such as affirmations or just positive vibes. There's loads of different things on that website. So I'll post that below and you can get all sorts of resources on Reddit, GitHub, Discord and other resources. So stay tuned for some other tutorials on iOS themes and series shortcuts and things like that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe, like, ring my bell, feed my ego and I'll see you on the next one.